Small town hardware, you sort of become a receiver and the shipper and the uh, and packer and the salesman and serviceman and delivery man. Every day's, uh, well, you might think every day's the same, but every day's actually different. You never know what to expect. Uh, all different kinds of challenges. Yeah, this is uh, hockey night. Once a week, we go and uh, have a, a little uh, scrimmage. And after work, I'll better get home and have a quick bite and uh, get my hockey gear ready and uh, head for the rink. Chap knew, knew the fellow managing St. Boniface Canadians, a fellow by the name of Larry Desjardins at that time. And, uh, so uh, I went in with him and uh, we went to this camp and, uh, and they told me to come back in the fall. They didn't want me to make sure I'd come back there. and. So I did, I went back the next uh, fall and stayed with the Canadians for a year. There was a bit of a shakeup in the Junior League in Winnipeg. They formed a new club called the Winnipeg Braves. They divided up the players and I ended up going to the Braves. We had the brand new Winnipeg Arena as our home rink. <laughs> and uh, that year we had a pretty good team and uh, of course the next year was our big year. Where we went right through and won Memorial Cup. jackets we got uh, when we won the Memorial Cup and uh, it's crest on and these are little medals that uh, we got from the Canadian Amateur Hockey Association when they won it. it. Still fits I think. Most of the guys can't get into theirs. Good. Detroit was taking a tour and, uh, and they stopped in Winnipeg for an exhibition game and of course uh, it was, uh, everybody was buying for a spot. I did get a letter to come to training camp or fall camp. I didn't do anything about it. Sometimes you think, well, maybe you should have tried just to... I just uh, really didn't want to go too bad, I don't think. We'd worked in the store since school days even. My father, uh, I know he had some health problems or surgery or something around that time. And uh, so I thought I'd, uh, that influenced me to stay and help out there too. So from Doug Monroe, them. Yeah, when I look back through it, I, it brings back lots of memories. Well, that's what they are now, memories. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I think we probably senior hockey we started out. I think uh, I was 15. I think Louis started the year before with the Mercury's. Uh, he was 14 probably. Eh? Manitou Mercury's and we played uh, every weekend. Winnipeg, Winnipeg teams come out and played us at Manitou here, and uh, the rink was pretty well full every weekend. In '59, of course, Louis was working in Winnipeg and was with the Winnipeg Braves, and I went to the Navy. So that's the last time we played really. I probably told uh, we started this eight years ago for for exercise and fun.
Yeah, I guess growing up here right from, from start, I uh, kind of get attached to uh, and comfortable, I suppose. I, I didn't uh, care too much for city life. That's why I get out of there every weekend, I guess. <laughs> but uh, it was nice to come home to Manitou and, uh, you know, we'd been in business there all the time and uh, this town was just a nice size. You practically knew everyone. I don't know if I'd have liked the, that life or not, but, you know, the, all the traveling and hotel stuff. I don't think I would have, but the hockey part would have been maybe okay. <laughs> oh. Hey, Mark. Oh, boy.